trust me. What happened? I did it. That's what you want to know, isn't it? Someone was up late last night. Tony's having problems with his missus. He needed a chat. It was him that called last night. Well, tell him from me, the next time I need some therapy to call you on your mobile. You hungry? No. I've got things I need to do. Well, you can't not eat because of your laundry. I'll take that for you. No. Right? No, I'll do it. I've already eaten. You all right? Yeah. Why? Well, I've just never known a man so keen to do his own washing before. I just got a headache, that's all. Oh, and laundrettes are a cure for that, are they? No, I mean, that's why I've been snappy. I'll, I'll see you later. OK. Where the hell have you been? I had things that needed washing, or would you rather I stayed in my dirty clothes? I'd rather you call me. Well, I'm sorry, Phil. I didn't realise you were running things. It's on George Street. What happened? I told you. I did it. And what does that mean? What do you think it means? I pulled the trigger. He died. You sure? Yeah. Anyone see a gun or go? No. And what about a gun? It's gone. Well, is it safe? They'll find the Loch Ness monster sooner. And what does that mean? It means it's at the bottom of the canal. <sighs> and what about you? Oh, I'm peachy. We don't look it. Would you? No, but. You gotta keep it together. Well, like you, phoning Sharon's at five in the morning. Yeah, all right, I ain't proud of that. But for all I knew, you, you could have been dead. Dalton could have been on his way round here with a cavalry. And that makes it all right. What did you tell her? Nothing. She thinks I was there all night. Well, did she hear the phone? Well, she ain't deaf. I told her it was a mate. And she weren't suspicious or anything. Why should she be? <laughs> because if you want my humble opinion, you've got guilty written all over your face. Yeah? Well, you've got a lot of opinions, but you don't really know the first thing you're talking about. Yeah, well, I know that you don't want to spend the next 20 years in prison. And if I do, it'll be through my mistakes, not yours. Oh, hello. Hi. Coming in. Oh, OK. He's not here at the moment. He popped to the laundrette. It shouldn't be long. Well, not to worry. Just, um, just tell him I came round to talk about something. Oh, we really shouldn't be long. But you're exhausted, aren't you? Not really. Well, Dennis told me about, um... Well, you know. Did he? Well, it's good you've got someone to talk to. I mean, some people find counselling helpful. If your wife's up for it, maybe you... Sorry, I'm... I'm Tony! Not sure. Hi. How are you? Right. I'll leave you to it. I hope things work out for you, Tony. Yeah, thanks. What's going on? But you're giving me 20 grand. Next thing I hear, Dalton's been done. I'm feeling a bit nervous, Dennis. Yeah, so am I, mate. There's obviously something kicking off. We should lay low for a bit. So you don't know anything about it? No, clueless. But one thing I do know is we shouldn't even be having this conversation. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry, mate. I wasn't thinking. Look, I'll keep my head down for a bit, all right? Exactly. That's it. All right. There you go. I can't find my wallet. That old chestnut. No, I'm serious. Well, we don't do credit here. Look, just give us a break, will you? It's just a few quid. 
What's it look like? Oh, right, you've lost something. What is it? My wallet. Well, have you tried the kitchen? Well, it's got to be here somewhere. Well, did you have much in it? Uh, money, driving licence. Well, do you remember when you last had it? I don't know. Well, look, I'll go over and check the club. Maybe you dropped it last night, yeah? Hello? Bill? I've dropped my wallet. I've dropped my wallet at Dalton's place. No take, isn't it? I mean, I'm totally screwed up. I don't believe it! You dropped it in my car. <laughs> and that's it, is it? That's all it takes for you to spill your guts. It's doing me in, Phil. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, well, you've got... Well, I can't. I've done a terrible thing. What you've done is kill somebody that wanted you dead. Now, don't ever forget that. It ain't that simple. I've known him since I was a kid. He wanted you dead. Now, I was going to do it, remember? And that makes a difference, does it, Phil? I've killed someone. And you can make up all the excuses you like, but it ain't going to change anything. It ain't going to make it go away. First thing in the morning, last thing at night, he's there. He's there, turning round and round in my head. That's it for me now, isn't it? There's no going back, because that's not an option, and, and I can't go forward, because I've just got years and years to this. This doesn't make you feel like this now, yeah? But you'll get through this. Take my word for it. Now, you got to think about what's going to happen next. Because we both know that pretty soon all this is going to come out, and how you... How we act, when it does, is going to affect the way people think. You understand what I'm saying? Now, can I rely on you to keep your call, eh? Yeah. Yeah what? Yeah, you can rely on me. Can I relax now? Yeah. Good. Anyone to think you had the winning lottery ticket in that wallet? I don't know what I'm so worked up about. The body of a man who has now been identified as Jack Dalton was found in these woods earlier today by a jogger. Mr Dalton was a local businessman and was well known in the area. It's just got me thinking, that's all. About what happened to Dad. Yeah, well, this isn't about him. I know, but it just makes me remember. It makes me think about how I felt. Because you try to understand it, but it's too hard. It just doesn't make any sense. There are always reasons, Sharon, stuff you don't know about. But how can someone do that? How can someone just gun a person down like that? I don't know. But you don't know what you might have done to deserve it. What, you're saying Dad deserved it? No, I'm not talking about Dan. I'm just saying that if you live that kind of life, you know, it's dangerous. Anything can happen. Yeah, and that makes it okay. Oh, no, of course not. Look, can we talk about something no, else? I don't care what my dad did or didn't do. He didn't deserve to die like that, and no-one had the right to kill him like that. I hope they get whoever shot Jack Dalton. They should lock him up and throw away the key. <laughs> 